two, we're going to the food festival. Um, going for a few hours. I've got work tonight, so um, we've got to do like two or three hours, get as many interviews as possible. Um, we've got mini biscuit today. You look forward to it again? Yeah? Sun's out. I've got mama biscuit too, she's driving those, so I'm not going to show the camera in the face. She's <laughs> right, so let's go to the food festival. That's what it looks like today in the sun. On the sushi biscuit. Hello, you alright? How are you? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> ben, you alright? How's day two looking? Day's looking great. Sun's out. Yeah, it looks amazing. Oh, is that why you guys are here? We best move out of the way then, don't we? All right, okay, let's do this. <laughs> right, so here we are, day number two. Um, Sun is out, so all looking very nice and summery. Okay, um, so you can follow us around day two. Just focus on the end of the other of yesterday's. But there's not as many people today. Everybody seems relaxed. So, but if you look at this, the, the stands are still busy. And apparently, um, going on what I saw on Facebook, all the stands here sort of sold out yesterday. So let's have a look what the uh, what it looks like today. So all these stalls are still crazy busy. Yeah. And we've got some crazy big bugs going around today. Wow, that's cool. Here comes the others. How amazing. Hello, buddy. <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> The atmosphere is amazing today, so we've got a couple of hours to walk around and get a look at things. Um, Some of the money that you pay is your five pounds. So here we go. Gets donated to self help Africa, one of the
So I just did an interview with Jean Christophe, um, the uh, celebrity chef walking around today. Um, we've got to grab some food, got some noodles, got some chips. Timmy's got a fish finger sandwich. Come to a food festival, is that one of fish finger sandwiches? Yeah, so Behind us here, you've got uh, Liam Tinsley, um, he's doing a cook along there, and Sean Christophe is going to sit in. I had a quick chat with him, and I was like, there's no pressure, is there? There's a celebrity chef sitting in with your cook along. But it's full, it's sold out, so um, shout out to my good friend. I want to say thank you as well to Ben Coates and to Claire Pocock for helping me get the interview with Sean Christophe as well. He's a lovely guy, really great to speak to. Um, so, that was really nice. We're gonna have some food and then we're gonna get some more interviews for the podcast. Some more vloggy stuff. Today's a bit more relaxed. Very nice. Yesterday was lots of energy. Today's just kind of like a good time. I'm really happy. Right, okay, gonna finish this, then we're gonna have a movie round and catch you guys in a bit. We're just about to uh just about to leave and do some stuff, but then we saw Jules! Hello! How's it going? Yeah, it's alright, yeah. Just uh, walking around helping out the general public with any inquiries they've got and stallholders basically. If any stallholders make sure no one's got any issues, everyone's happy, everyone's still got electric, that sort of stuff. So it's all good, everyone's been happy so far. It's a beautiful day actually. Glorious. Absolutely you look nice. volunteering for these things, don't you? Yeah, I've done quite a few for Beth, so I like helping her out, and I'll probably do the Octoberfest as well, to be honest, for her. Right, we'll do the Octoberfest, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we might need an extra pair of hands for the Octoberfest, because uh, in the evening, things might get a little bit difficult. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, no, I'm happy to do... Prison break yesterday as well? Prison, yes, we were uh, very entertaining. We had two large stags that we've seen. Oh man, it was, it. Uh, I won't say, but it was, no, it was, it was really good fun. Really good fun yesterday. Right, we'll uh, let you get on and cool. uh, do your thing. Yep. Um, and yeah. And we'll catch you guys, catch you next time. Cool. Oh, and look who he is. <laughs> Post Hello. Jean Christophe watching your. Yeah, luckily he didn't turn up. He was? I watched him. Oh, was he actually there? He was watching, yeah. Oh, okay, I didn't see that. Yeah, he was hanging around outside there. Nice, nice, nice. nice. How did your cock along go? Good? Yeah, very well, very well. Um, fully, fully booked, overbooked if anything. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, managed to get a pull out of the bag. Every single one's happy. I mean, it's a dirty breakfast. What else can you do? So for like five pound, you pay five pound, right? Yep. And then they get to keep the food that they cook. Get to keep the food, and the five pound goes to South Wales Africa. Yes. So it's all for the charity. So really, it's a bit of charity to get three meals by the chef. Oh. Um, Kitchen Depot are doing a great job of sponsoring that as well today. Amazing, amazing. Uh, ten thousand pound kitchen up for grabs as well. Is it? Yeah. Ten thousand pound kitchen they're giving away. We've got uh, uh, end of the weekend. We're getting them all up. We got a free mug off them yesterday. I'm very happy with Kitchen Depot. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. nice. Well, it's Timmy's mug. It's Timmy's mug. Yeah. So how was that for you? Was it a bit of a rush or was it? Like... It, it was fun. It's been about two years since I've done something like that. Um, I was a bit nervous, but yeah, it comes back, it's fun. And it's cooking, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's what you're born to do. And yeah. uh, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time um, when we come to Beaky Boys, maybe. Yes, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, it's hopefully. Yeah. We can get everything sorted for that, but yeah, definitely, it's definitely coming in. Well, it's lovely to see you, man. Yes. Have you got what's upon tonight? Just kind of wander around? And... Uh, no, I've got to carry on running the cooking school. Uh, <laughs> no rest of the wicked in this one. Um, Murph was here yesterday as well. He was, yeah. He did a demo yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I was uh, heading up the restaurant to choose three, so yeah, he, he said it went well. Amazing. And a good response, so. You are a legend. Thank you, thank you. Have a great day, man. Yeah, we'll have a beer in a bit as well. Oh, cider. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm going to have a cider. Nice yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right, I just come to this bar here and they gave me gave me a free bit, a free cider, so thank you very much guys. These guys from Lark, the shoes and biscuit. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey guys, it's 
So I'm all, been having a wander around. I've spoken to a few guys. Um, big pot, little pot. Spoke to them. Um, Jean Christophe um, came to me and asked me if I could sit in with his. Well, just have a look at his uh, demo. Um, so I'm hanging around the the cook along with the chef tent today. That's kind of our focus today. And at the moment, in the stage uh, is Legina Leo. You guys that have listened to the podcast before will know that she's been on the show before. Um, so I'm going to meet her properly for the first time, which will be amazing. So here's what's going on now. Timmy's had his face painted like Hulk. Looks great, doesn't he? So let me show you what the cook along with chef, the chef tent looks like. You pay five pound donation and you can cook along with um, a, a, a famous chef. Let me show you what it looks like. I reckon we're all ready to have a little bit of a taste. Now, if it's too spicy, we want it to be. Oh. <laughs> 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 um, I, if it's too spicy, that's good. It's good if it's spicy because we're gonna we're gonna dress this up with your salad and your whatever you've got on your workstations, and that that's gonna bring it to life. That's the street food element, okay? So pop them in your dishes, in your bowls, switch your heat off, pop your curry into your bowls, and then start dressing them. So dressing them, we you might want to the bits you haven't got. Well, it's uh, the Gina Leo. I'm exhausted. My body was broken yesterday. If anybody wants to come speak to me, just come and lie. lie down next to me. By Sean Christoph Novelli next. People look at me like, what's going on? They have no idea, do they? <laughs> Then, we've got the great man, we've got John Christoph Novelli. So, can I have a round of applause for both of them? Raise the roof, come on, come on. And I would also like to say a huge, huge thank you to our team. Okay, we've had Aaron drop in today. Thank you very much. We've had the lovely Lily. We've got the beefy boy himself, we've got Liam Tinsley, we've got the Dark Lord, Adrian Badland, obviously Jean Christophe, we've got the fabulous Freddie, we've got the lovely Jessica, we've actually got my son, Ethan, and we've got my lovely wife, Jo, and, come on, come on, we've got the lovely Rosemary, and none of this, and I tell you, none of this would happen without this lady. She's the only reason I come back every single year, okay? You're gonna cry at it. <laughs> and a huge thanks to Self Help Africa. Today we've got Steph, we've got Abby, we've got Lizzie. Yesterday we had the lovely Hannah. Um, we've got the Kitchen Depot. Come on, come on Kitchen Depot guys. Come on, we'll have Chris. We'll have Chris, the most stoic man I've ever met. So, what can we win? You can win a £10,000 kitchen, just come next door and enter the competition. You just want to win a kitchen. Exactly. So fill in all these afterwards, go next door, and one of you could walk away with a ten well, not walk away, but one of you one of you could win a £10,000 kitchen, and who doesn't want to do that? So without further ado, I'm going to pass you on to Toya. She's going to explain what ingredients you've got, what cakes you've got, what we're going to do, uh, and you're going to be ably assisted by this motley bunch. Okay, so I will leave you and hand you over to the fabulous Toya. Hi everybody, thank you so much for being here today. Um, so in front of you, you should all have a little bit of cupcake. You've got some fruit, some fresh strawberries and raspberries. You've also got some buttercream over there as well. I'm fighting that with a sort of nozzles in there. Um, so each of you will be able to create a different effect on top of your cupcake based on what nozzle is inside the piping bag. So it's a surprise for you all. And um, you should also have a tub on your station as well that has got some raspberry crumb. 
you've got some popping candy and you've got some Luca chocolate as well, which is one of the best chocolates that I've ever tasted. Um, and then we've got some cacao nibs as well. So that's a really strong chocolate nib. So if you, if you love your chocolate, this one is the one for you. So to start with, what we're gonna do, I believe there's some colors somewhere. Jess, can you get the colors? Jessica, colors? So she's going to come around with some colours for you all, so you can colour your icing to whatever you like. If you've got some pinks, if you've got some greens. If you want to go for just a natural cream, then you can go on ahead and start adding the cream to your piping bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So who in here loves cupcakes anyway? Yeah? Big fan? Perfect. And is anybody here actually plant-based? Is anybody here vegan? No, fantastic. So this is a fantastic, yeah, yeah, Some, on a Sunday, yeah? So <laughs> this is a fantastic opportunity for you to be able to discover that vegan baking is actually just as delicious as normal baking, if you'd like to call it that. Um, and so the reason why I started up my business four years ago now is because, you know, there's not a lot of good cake out there. And in Shrewsbury, um, when they say there's vegan options, it's usually a flapjack. Flapjack's not cake. So I created the business to provide cafes around Shrewsbury with a vegan alternative to, to proper cake. So hopefully you'll be able to find out today just how delicious they are. Um. <laughs> Great job, Great job. You guys doing this too as well, are you? That's how it should be done, yeah. Oh wow. Look at this one. Amazing. Oh, look at this. Oh yeah, that looks delicious already, doesn't it? Yeah. Nice? Mm. Oh yeah. <laughs> It's a team biscuits attempt. Oh yeah, some good work there. Some good work there. Nice one. I don't know. I, it's exactly. Yeah. I think. Uh, uh, I think even Jean Christophe would have a run for his money there. Yeah. Snazzy looking dessert. I like it. I like it. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but I like it's it. It's going crazy. <laughs> need to judge this. You need to decide on a winner. Okay. And we'll just wait until they finish this.
Okay, guys, can you get judging, please? Get serious. Everybody back to their stations. I want to see. I want to see the judges are judging. They're deliberating, taking it all in. Alright guys, before we, before we pick our winner, you've got you guys at the back, you've got a last, last chance to make a last minute alteration. No sabotaging. Have we, have we, Toya and Jean Christophe, reached a unanimous decision? <laughs> Yeah, that's true. So, have we reached a unanimous decision, guys? Are we saying that they're all winners? They're all winners, but they can only be one real winner. <laughs> Okay, that's Jean Christophe out, so he's out. <laughs> so now we're left with these two. Do you two agree? We do, we agree. Right, say it. This is getting tense, it's like, like Eurovision. And the winner is. <laughs> they need to have a walk round, guys. So <laughs> now's the time. Suck up to the boss. Please bribe them. Get your credit cards out. <laughs> well, you've eaten yours. So you're out. <laughs> so I guess I still can't decide. We've decided. Right, these two have decided, okay. Right. So, drum roll, as you can hear at the back, it's a man hitting a drain pipe. It's been going on for the last three hours. So, they will run up to our winner. Come on, guys. Big drum roll, big drum roll. Okay guys. Well done guys. Eat them now. Eat them please. And can you put your hands together for Jean Christophe? Hello. Here is the part of the show, or the vlog, should I say. 
it's weird uh, where I get to do my Jerry Springer's final thoughts. Um, so yeah, but it's been a week since the the food festival. Um, I've bit of time to to think about things and the weekend that we had and well there's not an awful lot that i can't i, I mean it was a perfect weekend that's it i mean like it was just fantastic i mean it's not my place to to look at events like this and critique them and or anything like that you know i'm privileged to have been there but if i was going to even if i was going to i was just gonna say it'd be a perfect weekend we got to spend the whole two days there and sort of see everything um and we we tried to get as much of it as we could. We had a problem with our camera day one. We got loads of amazing pictures, um, but the if uh, photographers out there might know of this problem, but uh, the memory card uh, died. So we lost all those pictures from day one. Um, so uh, we've got just enough to get us through the first part of the vlog. And the pictures you're about to see at the end of this little bit I'm doing now, or pictures that I took, I took about... 250 something pictures in one day because I knew we were missing pictures. I was kind of snap, 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 snap. So after this, we'll play a bit of music and we'll, you can see some of the uh, the pictures that I took on that day. I want to say a huge thank you to the team at Shropshire Festivals for inviting us. You guys are amazing. You know, you've had a very, very difficult 18 months and um, you, you, you're producing amazing things like this. And um, I'm so, I'm so privileged to have, work with you guys and i'm looking forward to to joining you um for whatever comes next which is oktoberfest Woo! <laughs> i'm really excited for that one um i don't know what we're going to be doing but um i'm really excited for it thank you so much for for watching this vlog if you've watched it all the way to the end thank you very much um and you know give us a, sub a subscribe on youtube because there's lots to come um we have uh i'm glad to say we've Looks like we've just been given the resources to, to take the next step with the Shrewsbury Biscuit, and that's working on visual things because Shrewsbury is a beautiful place. You know, if you're from Shrewsbury, you know. If you're not from Shrewsbury, I'm going to show you. We're going to be looking at hospitality, bars, uh, events. Um, you know, we're going to be looking at places that look amazing just to give people um, a bit of an idea of what's going on and for the locals as well, you know. Um, we've been covering some things that, you know, are on people's doorsteps that they didn't realize was there. So that's what we will be doing. It's not going to be about us or the biscuit. It's going to be about Shrewsbury. So give us a, a subscribe, give us some sub support. And um, yes, I'm going to leave you with, uh, with a bit of music um, <laughs> and uh, some, some of the pictures that I took on day two. If you're on this vlog, uh, make sure you say hi. Um, if you um, want to get in touch with me um, about something that's on the vlog or if you want to show us some support or if you've got any ideas, uh, make sure you, uh, you know, go to our website and uh, you can find ways to get in contact with us. There. Or you can get on Facebook or whatever, you know, you know people do. Our website is the Shrewsbury Biscuit Podcast.co.uk. Um, by the way, the, the podcast that we put together during that weekend offers so much more context as to you know what it was all about we spoke to so 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 many people on the podcast so make sure you check that out that the vlog and the podcast are two different animals so make sure you check out both um and give us some support by the way our, our website is made for us by our friends at web orchard i forgot to mention that if you need a website go to web orchard that's what you got a website that looks just as good as ours Right, let's uh, fi finish off with a few pictures. Um, and, you know, uh, this is my chance to say uh, adios. Thank you very much. And if you see us at the next event, uh, make sure you come and say hello. We are the Shoes Biscuit. And we'll catch you next time. Peace out.